What's going on everyone? John from Hobbyist PCs here. Today I'm going to be showing you guys a very, very useful program that is totally free and can help you figure out what is taking up a ton of drive space on your hard drive, your SSD, whatever it is that you need to free up space on. This program is called Stat. It's a free program. It's really easy to use, really easy to obtain, and it'll help give you a nice overview of what's going on on your hard drive. Today I'm going to show you guys how to obtain it, how to install it, and how to run a scan on your system so you can figure out what it is that's sucking up all your drive space. This is going to be a fairly short one, there really isn't much to this, but I promise you, you're going to make sure that this is one of those essential tools that you have in your toolkit no matter what. Especially if you're, for example, an Adobe user. When you, those temp files start piling up, you're going to be glad that you had this. Anyway guys, enough fluff, why don't we go ahead and just get right into it. Alright guys, we're here at the desktop and I got my browser open. Pretty simple. All you got to do is go to windierstat.net and you'll be brought to what looks like a blog page of some sort. This is actually the official website for the app itself. And all you all have to do is go to the download permalinks page and you'll be presented with some various mirrors for the download. And they're all right down here. The list of official download mirrors. You can pick any single one of these. Uh, I'm just going to go with SourceForge for now. Now this is just the installer program that we've downloaded here. It's pretty simple. Like any other installer, you will just install the program and it's ready to use. I already have it installed on my system, so if you've never run an installer before, you just simply click the installer, follow the steps, accept the terms, click next. You'll be presented with a few of these other components here. I don't think most of them aren't really essential. Just make sure you choose the language that you want. You don't need much space for it. It's under a megabyte. It's, it's 700 kilobytes. It's really small. Just choose the directory and then it'll install onto the system. Now, I'm, not gonna, I'm, I'm just going to stop the installer process here because I already have it installed. But that's all you really need to know to install this. Now, in my nifty little uh, maintenance folder here, that's where I like to keep all of my little maintenance programs or anything that I like to um, just, just keep on hand in case I needed to run some basic maintenance stuff on my system. I have... Windows, Windows stat in here and I just, just open it up and it's pretty awesome. So you have a lot of options here. As you can see, I've got a lot of drive space being taken up by my E and F drives, but those are my game SSDs. Those are the SSDs I use specifically for my games. So I don't really have much of a need to go through this, but my C drive is the one that typically I have to manage the most. Unfortunately, it's only a 256 gigabyte SSD, so I do have to keep up with the maintenance pretty frequently, especially considering that I use the Adobe suite. Adobe likes to create tons of temp files, so for someone like myself, this program is essential for seeing, at least getting an overview as to how much drive space is being taken up by temp files. And considering that Windows recently released an update that requires you to have double the hard drive space that you normally used to have. I think it's like an extra 36 gigabytes, if I recall correctly. It might not be the exact number, but it's in the 30s, that's for sure. Regardless, I'm going to have to keep a much more watchful eye on my hard drive space moving forward, or at least until I replace this SSD. So you have a couple of options. You can choose to scan all the local drives on your entire system, but if you're in my situation, you can even choose to just scan a folder. So you, you have quite a few options here, but in this case, I'm just going to choose an individual drive. I'm going to choose my C drive. I've got the C drive selected on the list. Uh, you can choose every single one that you want to scan you can choose like i said you can choose individual ones and that's fantastic but since we're just doing the c drive i'm going to select that i'm going to click ok we're just going to go ahead and let the scan run and we'll be right back once it's all set all right so it's completed and one of the things that probably jumps out at you right away is this big old colorful like graphic that you're seeing on the screen and you're probably wondering what that is what this is showing you is just a graphical representation of all the different files on your system and how much space they're taking up now you can go to each one of these graphics and you can select it and it'll show you what is taking up all that drive space in this case i mean these these are probably windows based files i'm not 100 percent sure exactly what this is What's beautiful is that because we have the internet, we can just go ahead and look it up. So what I could do here is I can right click this, I can go into properties and I could just go ahead and just copy this and I'll just go into a Google search and I'll just type it in and find out what it is. <laughs> what is this and how do I delete it? I'm pretty sure this is something that we don't necessarily need to delete, but it's, it's, it's the high, apparently it's the hibernate file. So apparently if your system goes into hibernation, this is like sort of like a temp file. Um, I don't know if this is necessarily essential, but if you'd use the hibernate feature, then this might be 
something that you need you can see you know we can go we can go through here and find out if we really do need to keep it or not but this isn't really the important thing though what's important here is for my in my case for example i want to know what it is that's eating up unnecessary space and what's beautiful is that i can go through this entire list it's all got collapsible windows you know you can you can just choose different ones it'll it'll expand everything and it'll tell you what percentage of the drive it is taking up so this one folder right here my users folder is taking up 26 percent of my drive space on this file on this uh hard drive or ssd in this case the, considering that the user files tend to be like either where the temp files go or where like you know your you might store your pictures there you might download files here we're gonna go ahead and just open this up and find out what it is that's taking up so much space and as we can see a large majority of it is coming from this is my my evil is because that's it's one of my emails uh i've had it forever but um this is just my user profile and we'll expand that and we'll see that in the app data folder i have a ton of drive space being taken up like 99 like 64 percent of my drive space is being taken up by the app data folder now we can go ahead and expand this and figure out what it is in that app data folder that has taken up so much space and as we could see immediately this roaming folder and the local folders are taking up quite a bit of space so what i want to do here is i want to first check the local folder and to just confirm where most of this drive space is coming is being used up right now it looks like that spotify is using up a large majority of it so a lot of these are probably just temp files that are being that are just taking up unnecessary space on the system now you have a lot of options here you can go into these individual folders and you can you can you know choose to delete what it is you don't know need anymore and a lot of these in this case for spotify they're probably just a bunch of uh probably files that I downloaded to, to use offline or anything like that. But the main one is this roaming folder for me personally. This might not be the case for you, but for me being an Adobe user, I do know that the Adobe temp files get stored in this roaming folder under Adobe. And as you can see, about 6.7 gigabytes of space is being taken up in this folder. Now let's open up this Adobe folder and then we, we you further investigate that a large majority of this one Adobe folder is being t is taking place in the common folder. So I'm going to open up common and you can see that the media cache files is largely responsible for all that space that's being taken up. Then you've got motion graphics templates, peak files, but the big one here is the media cache files. And those are the cache, those are like the, the temp files that pile up over time the more you use Adobe. And this kind of just, just circles around all of the... As you can see, I clicked that, it took forever. This 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 involves all the Adobe programs. The entire Adobe suite stashes their uh, temp files into this particular into this particular folder. So what is it that one thing that I can do that's beautiful here is I can just right click this and then I can just explore here and I can open up my file explorer. And considering that I really don't need any of these folders to get in my work done, it just kind of what will happen is when I open my project file, it might take a little longer to load up. But for projects that I've already completed and I don't need to go back to them maybe until a later time, I'm not going to have to worry about a lot of this stuff. And since I don't have any projects that, I, that I'm doing at this time that I need to worry about load times with, considering it's just going to be the initial load time that I really have to be worried about, I can just delete this whole entire thing. And that's the beautiful part about it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click in here and control A to select everything. I'm going to hit delete to just delete the entire contents of the folder. And that's all set. As we can see, I'm going to go ahead and just clean this out. I'm going to empty the recycle bin. Now, after we've taken care of that, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to click refresh all. It's going to do one more scan on that file. And we're just going to double check to make sure that everything was cleared out. Now that that's complete, we can see that the user, the users folder is still the majority of it. It's still in, in this evil file right here, app data. Um, however, you can see that the local, while it, do, it does have most of it here, the, uh, the roaming folder is now a, a much smaller percentage of it. And in, most of these temp files can be cleaned out. You know, you can use um, you can use disk cleanup to handle a lot of these folders getting cleaned out. You can go in and you can delete a whole bunch of them. But there, there really isn't much to it. Like this, this is really the function of this program, and it's extremely useful. I would recommend that anyone that needs to manage their hard drive space pick it up, so that way you can get a nice overview of everything that's going on in your hard drive, and you can just simply go in and clean it all up.
And that, my friends, is Winterstat. I hope you guys found this video helpful. And if you did, please be sure to like, share, and rate down below. I've also made sure to include a download link to Winterstat down below in the description. But also down in the description, there'll be links to my various social media pages, along with a link to my hobbies community Discord. Where you can meet various people in the community. They're awesome people, and they love to be helpful. So if you're a beginner looking to get in the PC building or building your first PC, they are more than willing to help you out, as well as myself. I also stream on Twitch twice a week, and it's a great place to go and just interact with me live. Also, down below in the description, there'll be links to the Hobbyist PC's merch page. If you'd like to buy some coffee mugs or a t-shirt, they have some available in the store now for purchase. And also, if you'd like to stay up to date with everything going on at Hobbyist PCs, please be sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon for notifications, and you'll be notified anytime we update to the channel. I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch this video. Thank you very much, and have a pleasant day, everybody.